You know, living in a, in a global destination is just a treat. You kind of have the best of everything, uh, you know, right at your doorstep. The proximity to wine country an hour away, Tahoe three hours away, uh, it has everything you possibly need. I lived in the city 20 plus years, so I love the diversity of the city. Uh, it's progressive. There's a lot of stuff going on with arts and music, which is very close to my heart. Every tour that gets booked makes a stop in the Bay Area. Every play that goes on the road makes a stop in the Bay Area. And people just embrace their inner kid. People embrace their inner crazy. Like stuff like Bat Kid couldn't have happened anywhere else. And not only is there so much to do and enjoy in the city, but the people here are just amazing. I love people who march to their own drum, you know, who have to do it their way, and that's what I find in the Bay Area. We live in the center of innovation, that Silicon Valley is our backyard in the Bay Area, and the sort of information technology that's been developed there, I'm all in. I think among morning shows, there's absolutely nothing scripted. Now with the texting hotline that we have and of course we always had uh, the telephone lines that people can communicate back and forth and they give their opinions and we just have an open dialogue. Because I'm the music director and not just on air, my show is unique because the listeners know that the songs are there because me and my boss put them there and I'm not being forced to play anything I don't want to play. It's all the music that I'm so passionate about. What's fascinating about Bay Area life is that everybody has a specialty. You know, you sit down in a restaurant, there's a world-class chef, there's a world-class software engineer, and we're the world-class information provider. So the glue that binds a lot of the Bay Area together is the information that comes from KCBS. I think most obviously because it is hosted by two gay men, it's definitely uh, two different viewpoints uh, that you probably don't get on most radio stations across the country. It's nothing you can really prepare for. Every day is different. You never know what's going to break. A lot of news breaks while you're on the air, and uh, you know, it's fly by the seat of your pants. Alice to the San Francisco Bay Area means exactly what we say on the air, live and local. They know that the staff lives here. They know that Sarah lives in Marin County. They know that I take AC Transit in from Alameda every day. And if the commute on the Bay Bridge was the pits, they know that I was in it right there with them. To be the first broadcasting station in America and the Bay Area's information leader and have that all happen in the same radio station, it's a remarkable legacy. We're very proud of it and I'm very humbled to be part of it. To the point now where generations of, uh, of family members have listened and supported uh, Live 105. You know, I mean, we, we throw the biggest parties of the year, BFD in the summer, Not So Silent Night, we got Spook Fest during Halloween, and those things have been going on for decades. If something's happening around town, uh, you can always turn to KCBS, and you know you're gonna hear what is happening within just a few minutes. the immediate reaction that you get from your listeners, whether it be by text or on social media or on the good old fashioned telephone. I think there's a, a certain amount of credibility into, uh, in, into what I say that, uh, that, that, that people know. You know, people know me on the air, off the air, uh, they've met me, they've seen me at promotions. We're like family. I mean, everyone, we've grown up with the people who listen to our show, so they know everything about us. Everything is for them, the music, and we like to make them feel like they are a part of it and they control the station. Everything we do is for the listeners.